So we um, always have, we put in some, some given curve. So x is a smooth, it's a projective curve. Over, uh, Later, you make some more assumptions on okay, K, on the thing that you work with, but right now it can, it can be uh, arbitrary in the So, um, we have a little uh, F. the feed of rational function of x. So as a red function, you have allowed to have from zero and four at some point in the final image for the x. Uh, so and and eta Spectre F is a genetic point. Uh, so X has a um, total response space, has a, a genetic point, and other ground on close point. So we also denote that this X in between the bar is the um, the set of closed points. X. So for every um, for every x in uh, small x in uh, every closed point in x, um, because the curve it defines some valuations on the on the fields of uh, personal function. They have evaluation. Invertible rational function into uh, into z. It measures the uh, uh, and then it the equation. So valuation x is a homomorphism on the group of uh, invertible uh, invertible rational function into z, and then you get uh, even this valuation. By a, a topology and then to do completion. F with respect to, uh, to this valuation. And O of X is the is the, the, the valuation. So, um, because we are working with most projective curve, uh, after valuation, the, uh, this, this is very simple. Right? This is just a little, a little form of series in one variable. Mm -hmm. so, um, the whole x is going to be uh, as a to huh? play of x. Some value. form of series in kx is a, a basic new field of x. Pi is going to be some uh, uniformizing parameters. So, uh, so that's it. This, this is basically the uh, all the data we need to describe uh, vector bundle like the one side the uh, the things of rational function and on the other completion. So the completion cannot see the curve. The complete all these things are based more on one form of this or other curve. They are all the same. What is the curve? We choose always a real form of series. So what is really contained by the interesting structure of the curve in the, the field of rational function? So the uh, advent is somehow to put it together. Uh, we have the uh, uh, room of A. The room of advent is to you know, introduced by the, the term itself and being invented by Ray, the previous before the dictionary. So the ruling of all collection of Ax, we have one of 
So, um, so this is uh, a general situation of uh, when we work with the curve or any fixed. But um, one will be moved to two basic phase. One is, is phase algebraic closed field, or the other phase, phase finite field. So when phase finite is, well, I mean, you can always. This ring as a formal series, is not a, as complexion, is a, is a good topology for complexion. And when phase finite field, then all x, because now uh, it's compact. So as a uh, projective limit of finite, finite limit, it, it's compact. Uh, and f of x is locally compact. A and O of A is compact because the eaten products are compact with by picometric values is compact. Uh, but this thing is going to be locally compact. That's why we need this in all these conditions. You need to we call that AX is in it always for all modes of X. So that this A is in the is bilinear of the compact. So, um, so all this look very big, right? It's a straight pull up over all points. But because of this system compactness, local compactness properties, it's still small in some analytic sense. That means when it's local compact and local compact, it's very much like real numbers. Real numbers is the this example that what we call back so the new equations. So this uh, implies that you can do uh, some integration. Uh, some <coughs> okay. And uh, um, so OA is um, OA is a, a compact ring inside this local compact ring. But you observe that F itself also is containing A. Right? It, so just any function you can put A at every place. Every place. Uh, so it it's going to be integral for a of X. It may have some codes, but it's still an index. And the basic fact here is in the here is that uh, uh, so the basic fact in the under theory This, this very simple fact actually um, 
is an, another way to state many um, you know, basic theorems as a as a metrometer of curves. But you know the uh, we have the uh, in A we have two subranges. We have F with the um, district and co compact. On the other side we have some O of A which is open and compact. So this is open and compact. And this one is uh, discrete. So this is a very finite thing. This bit. So this immediately implies that the, um, uh, if we intersect F and OA, or maybe translation of OA by something, you know, can multiply by any index. So there's A star. If you multiply the two of A, of A, then it can be invaluable. Uh, Find some element A in A star. It is finite. So I'm intersecting some compact set with some discrete set. It can be finite. And also, we have that the, the, the portion of A is um, by F, the sum of this. And those in all finite fields are the vector space of the K. And, and this is the, the first you know, A. When you have a, when you have events, uh, this will write some light bundles. And in the first intersection F cap is uh, OA A um, probably A minus 1 and we depend how we define A is A0 of X L A and the second is the uh, this uh, H this portion is H1 of X so this property of compact, properly compact, actually corresponds to the very basic fact of the algebra geometry that cumulus are finite dimensional vectors. Thank you. So in algebra geometry, this this work for any fit. But here, you can say this compactness only in finite. There is a way to, to, to talk about compactness um, for any fit. Linear uh, compact, but not going to that. You need uh, just some, you know, make this to work. Not, not, not but I just want to say that this, um, the very basic structures, you know, it's really the same thing as every of the uh, Okay. <coughs> so this is how to do it. Okay, so now uh, what we are going to try to understand is the vector uh, bundle. This is the bundle B. B is the bundle X. Where B is now is open. Here this is S. Maybe. The OX model, local is free. OX model. That is a vector bundle. So we have a vector is always called local three. And um, and our basic um, 
uh, this very description is a description of this of the fact of so first we try to understand the, the set of isomorphism classes of vector bundles. But obviously uh, uh, what is more meaningful is the, the category of Bernays category of um, vector bundle. So because x is fixed, I never put x in the notation because x is in order to move the plot, the plot is fixed one for all. So the object of this category is the um, uh, vector bundle from n and morphism are isomorphisms. So morphisms. In this category, are just isomorphisms. The bundles. And uh, so this is called the hook point. This is a hook point. The hook point is um, by definition category of all morphism and isomorphisms. And so we have two things uh, of interest. First is group point with the bundles. And the other thing somehow more elementary is the uh, This bracket moment, now the set, set of isomorphism class. And then another, uh, the last. Um, And you also, and this is the pair of finite things, you can say to count how many vector bundles we have. And the counting is, because now it's, it's not counting in this set. The counting in this set, you, you can count it, but it's actually more difficult. What is easier to count is to count in the mass of the group So when you have uh, uh, so when you have a, um, A is group width. And then I identify the, the, the mass of A, uh, so like the finality of A is now the sum over the set, the set of isomorphism of classes. And for every A in A, I want to take the, I put a weight, which is the inverse of the cardinality of homophysics. So this only make I mean this makes sense. I mean this opens makes sense only when this set is finite. And also for every A this group is finite. Uh, so in the case of uh, in the case of the finite things, uh, this thing is finite. Automorphism for the come more or less from this uh, compactity uh, to tell this group is only a finite group. You can actually you can be very large with this finite group. So this set is um, infinite. Uh, so a priori this, uh, this is this actually infinite. But for example, when you take a better bundle of a given degree, then you have, uh, uh, so if you take the band ND, which is uh, uh, from N and B D, then this this is infinite sum of its conversion. So if A is when uh, and B, this is going to be uh, uh, this uh, the mass of A is a conversion series. And uh, the game is now trying to uh, to write a formula for this number in terms of integrals, so how to write this press. This number as an integral over over the index. So 
So, but first we, we try to destroy the command of uh, uh, come back to how to destroy the human vector bundle internal address. So let V, so this is uh, so if I have a vector bundle V over X, a vector bundle of run N. So how can I, um, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> describe it? So first of all, I look at the unified. So, so let V, so V of S is um, a unified. Is a F vector space. So there's not so many vector space mentioned there, there's only one of the morphisms. But the point is that you choose one because you do some counting to choose. So when you choose, the first one you're supposed to choose. You choose the nice morphisms. Let's say uh, C over F. So F again is a, always uh, denotes the, the thing of the function. You did F to the N and B over F. This is vector space of the dimension N. So something that doesn't exist, exists, but there are just many of them. Here you just pick one. This the same way to the base of this vector space. So this is a kind of a very data of vector pattern. And now for every point, a uh, close point, uh, I will know, I should have you know that x, x uh, sub, um, sub x is a form of this respect of, of O x. So O x is not, this is not standard notation, O x is not a local, local liability. O x is a complete link. So forget anything about the term. So this is a form of this. And uh, I have V of X. is now V tends to uh, O X uh, with O small X. So in other words, it will be restricted to the, to the form of this. And now we have a local ring. We don't need to complete, but you know, here it's better to complete. Uh, we are over local ring and uh, uh, locally free, a ground end, uh, modules, it is actually free. And so it is free. For X module, a ground end. And now we choose. Another morphism now C X is another morphism in O X to the A with uh, with O X with B of X. So we you know we have we redefine a lot of this full point, so we go to to write uh, by the dot, the dot is if you have a book in it, then I have two of the base points, so I uh, have registrations. So B is going to be uh, the group point of B uh, and uh, add it on this registration. So I have C and F and C X are on those points. So once I have true the knowledge verification, this is no longer a group point, it is a set. It is equivalent to a set. So how, how can, uh, now I can describe the set uh, uh, as met 
because of the matrix. So the, this is the point of. So we take the genetic point, theta, this click F, and this form of this, there's no overlap, okay? We choose uh, as a model on, on different type of chart, type of analytic chart, and now we look at the, the way the overlap is. So, um, eta, um, when you look at the overlap, so you the final product, eta is x, x, is, is, is the function is. When you just say the form of this, you really get the function is, which is a straight of the fx. Uh, FX is the uh, of the things of draw off of a series. So FX is isomorphic to, um, to the residue field of uh, this thing. Then you choose some, some, some parameters. So now over this, we have uh, two. Um, so we uh, VX is we restrict to this um, function list. We have two isomorphisms, two rigid, two uh, trivialization. We have, uh, first we have the D, uh, we have uh, uh, F, X, and we have two rigidification. So one given by the, the general trivialization, the other given by uh, the local trivialization. And when they two trivialization, they differ by a number of group. Right? Here is just some vector, it's a vector space, right? vector space over fx, and they give two different bases, and then a metric that map one base to the other. So the whole point is not to write in two sense, so when you look at z of x, you go like this and go back, you want to do that, go back, and then you have c of f minus one, C of X, and now it's a little matrix in both of the matrices. In general, F of X. And it's easy to see that this um, visualization of the extent to some kind of, it's not totally required to some kind of open subset. So on that open subset, the, this is the um, GX. is going to be in GLN of all x for all more functions. So as a result, we have a map to have a functor that has uh, an equivalence. We have a map of money. So now, uh, by checking uh, So GLM A, by definition, is just uh, the choice of GLM and GLM X belong to the OS of all the All right, so, uh, and now this is the equivalence. Right? This is the equivalence, which is this set of group point, this is the set. So, okay. So this is also a this quick group, right? There's no homomorphisms. Okay, so now we have this try, this is a more easier because we can identify anything. And so the the, the data can be just read, you know, just recorded as collection of matrices. But now of course you want to what you're interested in this uh, original group point as well as Without, without the choice. But now on this side, it's very easy to, to describe how you can forget, how you can forget this simplification. You just have to mod out by, for example, if you were to forget this, you have to mod out the left by general. So this, this is the So 
different choice, so two choices of this local civilization differ by an element in general form. So two choices of unique civilization differ by the GL So we have this. So for example, we have the, the, the set. So now, just have one point is, if this is a set, and this is just a set of objects of this group, this uh, GNMF times GNFOA acting on this. But as we have a group for it, then they need to define this coordinate group for it proper way. So that really told this need to have uh, some kind of uh, if you have uh, now this M is a set and G is uh, an abstract group. And then you can define this M mode G. So when you write this, I, 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 uh, I say this is a group point. I don't, uh, this is a group point uh, whose object are uh, elements of M. And if I have a uh, two point M O N N N N prime, let the map, right? If I want the map from one element to another. So the map here is an element G, G in G, set the G N is M prime. So you can just recall the, you know, just uh, the action of G on M in terms of group point. Object uh, as the element the set and uh, um, uh, morphisms are given by the action of G. So as a result, here, the, um, when we look at the notation of the M on G, which is the same as the office of classes, is now it's just the uh, in the, in the same orbit. So G of M. But this group point is, is is richer than the uh, than this certain object because every time we have n in n, so as an object of this category, it has a set of automorphisms. Right? So the automorphisms of n as an object of the portion category is nothing but the, the group, a stabilizer group. Right? It's just the group of G in G is a G of M is M. So the group point here is roughly to remember the set of orbit and the set of and the group of stabilizers. Uh, it's not completely precise, but it's roughly this. So what we have to uh, take this example of, um, is very instructive if you want to count. So you have a, a finite set M out of one by some finite group G. You can also write what is the number of object. Impossible to write just from M and G. But it's very uh, easy to describe this the, the mass of the group. So M is finite, M is finite set. And G is finite group. Then the, uh, the mass of the group point M from G is just uh, the cardinal of M divided by the cardinal of G. You can just sum the it, it's a very basic exercise in uh, algebra if you sum over the set of it and weight it by one over the sum of the morphism. Then you get this. So the, this is the time, you know, that thing that we uh, just edit out all the time. The, you know, this, the two vectors of time are equally interesting. They have a set of orbit, which is elementary, because it's the set. But there is some kind of more fancy version to the book point also. Uh, it's more fancy, but the counting 
it's easier. The third thing is that this will be how it's acted, M for G. It is a real trivial with the the bus group will be still M or G. And the, the, the set of objects is actually much is simpler but it's very for to cut. So this is a time we can have without the other types of the um, moonlight spaces, etc. This is a very, very picture. So, so this is this equivalent to this is looked at as a good point of GNA divided by the uh, this action. Okay, so for, for instance, uh, um, so if, uh, if K is finite, then it, uh, so we have a human N B, is isomorphic with uh, uh, G L N of F, G L N of A, I took one D here, I mean the L N of the D, it should be, it can easily define what it means. And uh, what we say is that uh, you can, it's very useful for you to write uh, what is the number of isomorphic classes. It's infinite. There's infinite many, uh, there's not infinite many uh, isomorphic classes in the bundle. But uh, the mass is finite. It's now it's just the, um, the volume of this portion. So this is the uh, locally compact. Locally compact. Uh, if you remove these local compact group, and you modify some this particular. So we think we're going to participate. We just have to choose a measure. What is the measure? So obviously we have to choose measure, so this is, this is volume one. So this is not a compact group. And by the very, very term integration, there is a gist, uh, uh, that will be a valid measure of any not a compact group. So DG is in value measure, I measure on GNMSA. Um, so this exists, uh, but we need to scale. So we need to choose a, to choose a way to normalize as normalization is uh, so that the volume of GNMSA is always the compact group. One. Uh, when we put this notation in, this identity is, is, is based on topology for the method to prove. But the only to prove that thing is finite. I'm not going to prove it, but it, it is true. But in general, for certain simple work, it is very really finite. So that, that's it. So this is the. Um, uh, so this is the, the content, I mean that's the content, the part of the, the idea of the implementation, the very counting of vector bundle, this is this. Is, this. So we describe vector bundle in terms of events, and the group with vector bundle and gives some kind of portions. And eventually, if, if over finite field, you can make some, some count with that. The, the weight of the number, the, the mass of the group of vector bundle can be written as in some uh, somehow the some kind of local compact group mod out as a discrete. So this is a uh, kind of different to, to see when not even into it, but this is very much uh, similar to GLN of R. Or maybe in SN2 of R, uh, SN2 of Z. And this we have to do with the composite group SA2 of R, which is the, the, the SO2 of R. 
uh, missing uh, missing uh, uh, as a two of R one by this is a uh, uh, half plane, point by half plane, and this is a pair of the having basic two. So this uh, so this number is the same as in pair of volume on any other domain of the option SL2 of Z on the monetary half plane. What is the future of the degree D? What is the degree D? So, D, D is the degree. So, the degree, you know, when you get one, is the the degree of this always zero. The degree of A star A with one. So A B A A is A X. Then you can you can do the uh, the degree of A to the sum of the valuation of A X. Which is a finite sum because of the A. And uh, when X star Inside this, then this will be zero. Because it has as many points as zero. And, and, and the good is that uh, when it can be turned into a star, it has to be the good. And of course, in GLF, it can be turned and then to a star, and then it will be zero. So the action of GLF itself is second. It doesn't change the valuation, but it will be really turned. Oh, also notation. Yeah. Okay, so now um, to this is kind of book story. Actually, when this is this uh, paper of Bay, uh, which is called Gener Gener Generalization of the Fusion very difficult to read, and I could never find what exactly the place where he actually write this. But we only refer to, to this type of very or this uh, idea, or the beginning of this idea. So now um, we, um, in the main part of this lecture, what I try to do is to do this, but for uh, G bundles. It's a GLM. So, so for that, I just have to define what is in G bundles. Make a bundle of that, I don't know what you a bundle. The G bundle can meet uh, some definitions. Uh, this is one point. And the second point that uh, uh, why we need to develop homology is this. Uh, in this so, for vector bundles, uh, when you have to do the genetic finals, in the vector bank, it's it just make vector space dimension A, and they are all isomorphic. So there's only one vector space up to isomorphism. So it is no longer true if you do some principal bundles. So the set of the possibilities here in the is maybe the kind of some gala homology group. And that's why it's uh different type of this story. Okay, so I spent a couple of minutes, maybe uh, 15, 20 minutes to uh, this first bundle, the uh, G bundle. And we got a lot of people. So now I'm, uh, I did some kind of more hot points with the geometry. But um, sometimes they're not going to define, uh, so we have to, you know, to try to, because if they define, it doesn't have to uh, So now we have some scheme, some, some, some scheme is a space and a geometry, and the basic starting point is, is some G over S, which is smooth, loop scheme.
So I'm not going to define what is a group to what is smoothness, but if the way you can think about it, from every point S and S, you have uh, the fiber is a group, algebra from GS, like GNA, like uh, subtracting group, etc. And uh, so this is the family of group, and algebra geometry is formed of some smooth speed. And the smooth here is, you see, the, the, the thing that it, if you don't have smooth net, somehow it will turn out into a true net. So this is the, the, this is the one you need to make, uh, these are technical conditions. To make things work. So it used to be the killer family of group in algebra geometries and uh, it's uh, a finite type and it's well, obviously very technical. Uh, you don't need to go much with this. So now with this, one is kind of accept what is most root in when you find what is the uh, a, a G bundle. And this has many names. So I just choose the bad mode, a uh, short name, but it also known as G toxins. G in this is more chemical name than the geometries. And different geometry they call G principal man. So I just you know I just oh, I just pick a G back to make it short. So a Z-bundle is what? A Z-bundle is, uh, uh, is a, a, a scheme over S, so map of X to S. Acted on by G. What it means is, is fiber, what is not fiber of what? So, uh, so this means that uh, you have a map from G X into X. So this is final problem over S. And satisfying uh, uh, axiom of an action. So what do you require actually of a group of the set? Then you require the same identities. So, I mean, roughly speaking, what we want here is just for every point S in S, we have a set of the group J, G, S in the group, up the top, the set of the space of five dimensions. And this, this action had to vary in a much way in the, in the family, but that means that it had to be met. So this is uh, uh, some, some G space, this is called G space, uh, and the G bundle in the G space where uh, basically for ABS, this after is simply something. But uh, the beginning is kind of more, a more uh, kind of logical to understand, but I can explain it. such that there exists S prime to S. Subjective, subjective, with uh, morphisms, such that if you base change this into S prime, so this is base change to S prime, so this is acted on by the base change of G to S prime. And this is isomorphic in G times G as prime with the right action. It really depends on how, I mean, usually the formula is better when you do the right action. That's in the right action. The right So if you, know, if you take S prime with a point, 
ready for that, I was saying that you know, um, the fibers is uh, uh, the, the he has up with um, of simple commutative on, 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 on the fiber of x over s. But this is more like you go, this, this uh, subjective etanomorphism replace the cover of the space by open subset in, 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 in different rows. Like the vector, uh, vector bundle uh, in uh, different geometry that if you put again after rushing to some open subset, it's a usual topology, it becomes uh, become a trivial vector bundle. Uh, but in algebraic geometry, there's no equivalent of this small disk as in uh, as in different geometry. But then this 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 goes a big time on the result because it plays completely. I'm not going to be able to take that leader, but it, it just, you know, you can hear when you really think about this is some type of cover, S by some small piece. Okay, so we can have two the Okay, so this, um, this is the uh, uh, So, okay, so now um, I try to explain that this is rather strong definition. Uh, for you know, for uh, for those who haven't uh, not exposed to this kind of real abstract algebraic geometry, but let's try to explain it in simple terms. So, firstly, this implies that x to s is smooth. Right? Why it is smooth? Because x you know, the um, because lo its smoothness is a local motion. So if you have space S, smoothness you can check by some so this is the square of this. It, it's some kind of nine You can kind of check at the uh, the map over the some 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 small um, some small level is smooth. Very small level it is the same as G. And some small level is isomorphic to G. So it is smooth because G is smooth. But in the low position over X over S prime is isomorphic to G over S prime. And so X S prime is smooth. Over S prime. So this implies that X so this kind of um, it would simply be very clear uh, uh, implications and the topology is very clear and the different geometry is clear. The algebraic geometry I mean, in some more some wide language to say that the smooth net properties is preserved by festival fact descent. So this descent from S prime to S is Properties over S part can be descend to S. So this is the first point. If it's a top, so it can be smooth. And the second point is that now if you have a, for any S, for any geometric point, so geometric point is the space of some. Uh, Algebra to close things. So this is made from this two uh, Then we have uh, uh, then of course GX, GS up simply transmitted on on this. And moreover, because it we have some kind of algebraic varieties of uh, algebraic closed fields. We have to have points. And we have to this kind of thing that we spend in South Korea. It's not a half point, so it is just over K bar. It's point. And this point gives you a map from G uh, X to X G S. S mapping G to G S, which is another one. 
So uh, when you have a, a top source or a Z bundles, it implies two properties. First of all, as a method of steam, it has to be smooth. And fiber wise, it has to be principle of moving the space, the absolute. So the clear is equivalent. So uh, so one and two. So Z bundles is the same as one plus two. So hopefully one plus two is sometimes more intuitive. So one is just about smoothness. It doesn't move the upset of it. Two is now it's just probably fiber one. Mm -hmm. That fiber Y G absolutely mm -hmm. is kind of good after the set, similar to the video. Mm -hmm. Or otherwise there is a point X, so it's kind of nice more for the fact that the right. Mm -hmm. So the smooth net is really uh, the property that you can move the the multiple together very easily. So how you can prove this? So this is if I typically proof and that uh, this kind of theory just moves all the time, this kind of technique is what you do. So how do you prove it? I try to prove this improvement. So the, this is already new. This is the picture you already know. Now try to do the opposite way. It has to move. So, so if I have two, so if S is some geometric point in S, and now if I uh, have a geometric point, I, I have a point. In um, XS. So this is X, this is S, and this is one point S, and I have a point S. As smoothness, it means that you can, you can, they, you know, in, in, in different groups, you can lift a disk of our S into a disk. This is smoothness is really mean that you can, uh, for every point, you can lift the whole uh, inside it, the very section. So smoothness is really need to do this. It's the distance. So in different geometries, you know, for local, respecting the usual topology, and the bird geometry is going to be local with the time topology. The time topology is going to be to be based on this type small piece. So, 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 so by definition, there exists some type S, um, S small S, in S, some type theta nano. S in S. So, so that there is from S A to, uh, to X, so that when you take the, the, the point S, it will be the point S. So when there is these sections, then, uh, then, uh, then the, the resolution of X uh, may change to S S is isomorphic to Because if we take the section to uh, define that, so the net is the action, the G net is the G of C. So one we have a section, one has a section that is called to is the G times section. So this so for A B point we have Nilo. And to the union, you can tell your union on this kind of okay. This is the time travel. I mean, usually when S is kind of spectrum of a uh, 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 commutative ring, it's locally, it is uh, compact, it is uh, quasi compact. Then you can replace this by finite and we I like to make the other. 
So how can it how can go around so far? So now let, let's try to understand this. So we can make some, this kind of hard shock is a bit more perfect. Uh, it goes cycle and so on. So we have a map, uh, we have a, um, a map of X to spike gate, which is acted on by, by G. And now I'm going to forget all geometry, so to look at the, uh, the set of x of k bar. The set of points on as a bit below two, and up and on by g of k bar. It is up simply by this degree. So somehow when you move from uh, algebraic geometry number theory, the way we trick is to forget about the speed. Just look at the set and the dollar action. So that's it. So the the dollar the dollar and this. And the action is defined over okay. K. That means that the action is compatible. That means if you have sigma, I write action by this sigma of x, action on the line on g, the same as sigma of x. So this one he, 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 he captures if you do the uh, Galois Galois theory from this algebra geometry things. We just look at the set of k geometry point, it two is Galois. 
the set, a two dollar option, and the book, a two dollar option. So this book after this set also be very simple, simple term. That's very complicated this, you know, this, this, uh, this uh, to understand this compatibility. So how to describe this? So to describe this, let's just fix a point. So let's choose some point. It's a pick up point. And we should apply sigma to x. So sigma is a minimum in dialogue. So sigma we're going to move x to another point. Except if unless x is defined OK, then the, then then x is going to be a fixed point in dialogue. But then we need to no no fixed point. So we just keep on the random point. And you have to measure how, you know, how far, how far it moves. But now because this actually is simply transmitted, and then it's only uh, that gamma sigma in G of K bar, such that x is x gamma sigma. So after on the left, my by the name of the dialog group, he is up on the right by the actual G, some name of the G. So this is a formula, so this is uh, but now of course we have has, has satisfied some condition. So if you have sigma one, sigma two, if you put that dialog group, and you can do sigma one, sigma two, x. Then it's going to be sigma 1, sigma 2 of x, to sigma 1 of x, and now gamma of sigma 2. And now we call it this formula. And then this is the same as sigma 1 x, sigma 1 gamma sigma 2. And this is x gamma sigma 1. And this way we talk about the usual equal concept of equation. If you have that uh, to comply with the same as x of uh, gamma sigma one sigma. If this imply that gamma sigma one sigma two has to be gamma sigma one, sigma one gamma sigma two. So it's almost the multiplicative. So in this place, you have to apply sigma 1 on the gamma sigma 2. So this is a cosine of equation. This is exactly mean that the left from gamma to gamma to gamma to the root of k bar for sigma left to gamma sigma is a 1 per cycle. The 1 per cycle is a map satisfying this condition. And if, if I suppose I can really have to try to, you know, to do some kind of simple math, you know, we have a gala action up on the space, which is a principle of homogeneous space of the group. So when you move the gala to the same as group as some element of the group. And that gives you the composition boom, which is why that doesn't mean that we find it cosine of the group. And another condition that we need to, to uh, satisfy is that on the, the point X is not defined over K, but it has to be defined over some finite extension. And the measure of the is any point defined over some finite extension. So that means that uh, 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 yeah. there exists some gamma L, gamma, gamma K, uh, some finite. So this is a continuous. Uh, so this is a discrete set, and this is a compact group. And this is a cosine of that is factorized with a finite group. 
So, um, so the, this, what you have is uh, uh, the definition of a, a bundle of as a file, give right to someone to say for one to choose a point. So we choose another point. So now if we have x prime another point, then x x prime is here. And if all this is going to derive easily, but if you this prime here write some gamma, so you decide on gamma prime, this is gamma, and then gamma of six has to be about this is to be g minus one, gamma sigma, sigma g. So when you uh, move the base point, then the full cycle will move some full boundary. So as a result, uh, what I prove here by this very simple calculation is that this set of uh, this set of, of H1 of Sg, when S is spectrum of, of the P, okay, is the same as one per cycle, one continuous per cycle divided by you know, two value. And this is exactly the definition of the color So somehow, you know, um, when the first time you look at the visual of you can ask what, what, why do you take this proportion? Right? And why this about it? But somehow this language of bundles makes it very natural. Every time you take a picture of one, and you write the equation of what the how it is, then you see to the one inside the position. And you move from one to another, then the full cycle is, is, is compound to each other. So we, we do have this uh, Okay, so this is the, uh, what happened over when the base field is a spectrum of the, the, the scheme is spectrum of the field. Then you can do this. Okay, so let's continue. Um, So I um, seem to have something to uh, to do on, on the uh, gala homology and the uh, top and, and two bundles. Um, so, um, so what um, this the notion of uh, G bundle is not um, usually uh, practiced by uh, people are outside the electronics uh, because it, you know, it, um, somehow it's not as familiar as Victor Bundle. Uh, uh, Victor Bundle is also a form. So, but, uh, um, so, but it's basically equivalent. So I, I try to explain how, how, uh, how they go back and forth from um, the notion of forms classroom forms of the uh, he doesn't have a name so I just uh, they names forms. So now let uh uh we uh I mean this kind of thing is very really, um Common knowledge, but actually it's not written anywhere, so I cannot uh, find an exact assumption. Of it. So I, I had to put some time my own assumption to make it work, but not is not optimal. So let so let over some S some schemes, and now let's see some kind of algebra structure of this. Let the bundle. So more and more general term, I have a scheme. S some schemes. Plus additional structures. So, for example, vector bundles and then they have optional. 
F1 to the multiplier to the Emerson structures. So we get the Z like this. And um, the form of X uh, will be some to the is another map of X prior to S, which is as a market at locally. Such that uh, over a uh, return cover, the return cover is a subjective return cover. S pin to S, and after base change, uh, then X, S prime, which is base change of X to S prime, so they exist in isomorphism. S, S prime is S, S, S prime, S prime, uh, uh, pretty compatible. These are additional structures. But if you can be afraid what an additional structure means, it's that some kind of morphism, then this, this doesn't cause any problem. You can be anything. So this is a form. So this is something that looks like X locally. So over different geometries, but locally over some disk, some, some balls. The algebraic geometry is replaced balls by some retard tables. So what to classify, how to classify the form, the question how to classify. The same structures, this prime with additional structures. In the same, in the same, same kind of additional structures. So the question is how to classify forms. So classify uh, you know, space or movements or whatever, it could be additional structures. So that locally, it is as a more to the given one. So this is very natural in any kind of geometry. And the point is this, is, this is very much the same as classified as space and some kind of values. It's a different assumption. So that um, uh, so the classifier form is basically with, uh, the same as um, let, let, let look at f of x. When you put f for form and x, is the, the, the category of forms. By these definitions, this is the object are, are forms, and morphism, isomorphism of forms. And uh, as the paper, this is the equivalent to some some place in bundles or some G. But here we need some assumption because the, the assumption is this, so, uh, uh, so we consider. So we need to have this G to start with, so we consider uh, the functor uh, that um, associated with the, uh, um, any scheme over S, so any T over S. Then we get automorphism. So we this this function. This group values associate so any uh anything any uh S scheme is just a group, you know, this abstract group of automorphism over T of X base chain to T plus additional structures. So we uh, have automorphism of X T that respect the additional structures. So this factor is only five. Uh, but it just the assumption we need uh, assumption is uh, assumed. 
where this stop is there. is represented by a smooth So there exists this smooth book scheme over G over S such that G of T is automatic. So this is a strong assumption. Uh, this function is not only representable, it can be very big. Yeah? For example, if you take um, uh, H to be uh, alpha is 22 dimension, the automorphism of two dimensional space is the criminal groups of that in all those groups, in order to understand. So this needs to be. This, I don't know what it assumption to make to make this happen. But they assume this. So when you have this, then this this thing becomes when you have this assumption, then this becomes uh it's called topological. <coughs> so this is the, the same construction uh, when you have a vector bundle, then uh you look at the isomorphism from the vector bundle, from the tube of vector bundle to the vector of the of the of it, to vector bundle, but to the frame bundle, which is the principal bundle in the general. So this kind of frame bundle. So, so if now we uh, we look at the uh, uh, then we have this functor for f x to bundle g. Which is just x prime, no, mm -hmm. then we have x prime, some form of x, which is associated with it, a functor, um, the, uh, uh, the functor, iso of x and x prime, so that a for a, a b over a b t, so when you, t is compared to structure, t over s, then you look at the ISO. Now, this is a function now to the set from XT. XT is based to XT, X prime T, plus additional structure. So when you have two, you know, now this thing is really after on by G. Because when I have two isomorphisms, when you compose one inverse of the other, you get a minimum of the automorphism. And so, uh, uh, and so this is, uh, this, this function is a non recommendation. So, this is very abstract cons construction of uh, how to go from forms to bundle over the automorphism. The, the, uh, uh, the formula is very easy. What is difficult is how to check the homomorphism book that actually the, the residual of the book is not smooth, but it's going to be a little bit. So, for example, when you look at the, um, so the, the most basic thing that is very much used in different geometries is when you have a vector, now when x over s is a vector bundle. A vector bundle of ground plane is a form. So, um, so when x is just a tree board, uh, is uh, x is just O x to the n. So the tree board vector bundle of the n. And then x prime over x, s is locally isomorphic to this, and then x prime is just a vector bundle. It's locally free. Locally free, uh, four x modules. The ground n. And here is is very obvious an automorphism. So, 
automorphism of, of this 4xn. And note that the thing is just x, x times the group again. This is So that when we do this I zone thing, when we have the, um, uh, so why is it like that? I zone from X to S1 is going to be for uh, GN and Z. So we, then we have equivalence between the, the loop with the category of vector backgrounds with the category of gen and gen. You can be treated at the same way. So for instance, if you... So this is in, in different geometry, you can they call this this gen and the frame number. And now this is uh, all of this very form over there is this one thing that is uh, uh, just look at the trace now let look at the trace of um, S is spec of a field. Okay. So S is spec of a field and the um, vector bundle is a vector space. And this group weight is very simple, that's just one object. But the automorphism group is generally tail. And then this tail uh, is by the end. Over this spectrum of the field, and one object is equivalent to this. And automorphisms is generally tail. But now by this correspondence, what we get here is the in the group with of of man and GLN. GLN crystal binder. But remember we have identified this man GLN. If you look at this is not a group with and the set of isomorphism classes of man GLN is a Gala homology H1 of K and GLN. It can be defined abstractly as um, the set of one per cycle divided by the set of one value. But this equivalence tells something that is, well, it's not completely obvious that this is one. Because on the other side, they are only one isomorphism class. With the bundle, they are only one isomorphism. So the, H1 of the gen and is all the And this is the one going to run up only the number 93. And it's going to be the very proof as well. You can go out for cycle and try to, to work on the for cycle and to make it go out to the tree of for cycle. Then you go through this equivalence between gen and bundles and vector bundles. Then it will be completely obvious. The vector bundle of the uh, uh, thing is a vector space. And up to isomorphism, there is only one vector space. So the Galois homology is true. So this is one example. And so this is why a very proud is easy. And I mean, at least it's easy because you have this in the United States. On vector bundle over a field only uh, trivial. And now obviously you can do some of the other things you can uh, uh, in vector bundles, vector bundles, uh, B vector bundles, plus a C um, orthogonal form, you see? Orthogonal form is, uh, is just a uh, um, Linear map, OS linear map from B tensor B over all X into all X. Uh, uh, some B, a, a symmetric B linear. <coughs> a 
Secrecy Union Reform, um, which is uh, known with everywhere. Known with everywhere. That we fiber wise for every point of the so this is S. So for every point S, small s and s, the fiber will be in vector space. Equipped with some 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 uh, you want to perform in means of non the form of every single fiber. And of course we have uh, in th this object is on the form of the that forms a uh, retrieval vector by the OSN plus some kind of uh, you can look at the form one B with the by some nine and six like that. And the automorphism of this this kind of uh, standard orthogonal form the automorphism of this is it's just orthogonal group. Maybe uh, as a group, it is a constant group still, then it's just orthogonal group times S over S. So that the, uh, this category of form is the same as but uh, so we have uh, as a result, we have an equivalence between the, the group point of vector bundle of rank n over s plus uh, of a uh, symmetric b uh, linear non non business form. Over S is it equivalent to uh, the group point of body of O N uh, time S over S. So this is a fair more usual. You know, the, for example, when you have a, a Riemannian manifold, so the tangent space of the bundle and the Riemannian structures in the symmetric in the form of the different bundle. But this will be the same as a uh, bundle uh, uh, under the ordinary group. So it's less usual. Uh, it's the same as locally you choose some uh, autonomous basis of the, of the bundle. But again, this is like a frame bundle. So this had to, had to go back and forth. So the, the point is that when you when you do some kind of concrete mathematics, it's better to think about some space, some form, additional structures for the data. But when you try to um, somehow, it, some of the bundles is, um, is more, um, more abstract. But also it's kind of easy, more easy to, you know, it really depends what you do, but it's, 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 been, it's nice to, you know, to, to be trained to Back and forth into this. And of course, if, if you have S is spread in R over real numbers, over real numbers, then there's not just one optimal form, but there's classification of optimal form, a bit of the classification by signature of the form. And so in this case, we have the, uh, the, the quadratic forms. Are, are classic in the same as uh, off common bundle over R, and it, as a set to classify in uh, classified by uh, signature of the corners. And have an optimal form is a triple basis, optimal basis with uh, coefficient plus or minus one. The signature is 
So in this case, a, a, this is just a set. There's no there's no loop structure on this. Okay. So the last point I want to mention is one of this was a very general story of uh, <coughs> of uh, Mandons is uh, the one that is has to do with question of time. So why uh, in French call this is the top surf? Or in some English will be top surf. Let me put the English to 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 choose. So um, so if you have um, now um, if you have uh, uh, x over g over s again smooth deep skin. So if somehow you really want to remove this smoothness because you enter the loop not smooth. But if you remove know, smooth, you cannot even describe what you mean by, by toxin or you know, what you mean by local treatment. It's not obvious, but it makes sense. So if acting on X and S. And if you have a principal bundles, you have to have bundles, so E is a G bundle over S. Then there's no, an operation that is used all the time, is how to okay, use this bundle to choose as. So any, 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 any space after upon by G, and any bundles, we can use those bundles to choose as. So we have a uh, top, the top S, so we erase the V drive, this is V drive to X E. The twist the space. Of X um, by by G band. By the G band of So in first they say that they thought X the top The top is the thing that you should choose. And this is defined as the scholars. So this is the operation you go outside in, 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 in topology. You just look at x and s is p. The fiber for x is p. And on this we have up to g. We have g up to my diagonal. So G after X by the given action, and after E by the bundle action. And now we consider the bundle action. And we find X E as a portion. So now the second point, what do you mean by portion? And the, in the Angela joke is a very complicated defined portion, not like the topology, they just define the set. But here, I mean, the portion is, I mean, sometimes this is not a scheme, but it doesn't matter much. The thing is, in fact, on many aspects of it is a scheme. The main thing is actually is that it's, 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 it's a free action. It's free action because if you consider how that would be, it's free. No matter what it looks here, after this is free. So every time when you have X up by three option, you have a portion. So the principle is that when you portion the portion by by three options is always it's not a scheme but always under the space. So I don't want to define it, but it's and sometimes it can laugh to cut a little bit to, to capture all these things, but this is like this. But in many situations, it is a scheme. Uh, for, you know, the thing is this, when you base chain S by some S prime, this is something down, 
from A plus over E flat, so that over E, the E prime is trivial, the E prime is just equal to G uh, over S prime. So if E equal to G, then we are doing nothing. If E equal to G, uh, and then so X uh, times X, X prime over S prime, E prime, is the, uh, the same as X, S prime over S prime, G, S prime. So when you divide by this, and then this is divided by G, S prime, you just let X, S prime. So when you twist by the trigger bundle, that means it doesn't do anything. So now, uh, although we don't have this course that we are using, but we know what is over some cover. And usually, you know, under that assumption, it can be set by the best we find this set. From this thing to this, we have the best we find this set. But this is an assumption. For example, we see it's a phi and then it's phi. I mean, a phi is this system. But then it's not a phi without the assumption. So, the form of this a phi group, then it is no way to do it. OK. So we have defined this bundles, define this uh, how to twist. Um, and somehow you can also see this uh, um, okay. next is just the last some last piece of thing that you have when you have whole more to look. We H and G are groups in these homomorphisms. So group schemes. Then we can uh, um, Then we have a big bang roll to define a, a, a functor from that H and G. So if you have some H bundles, then you can associate it with some, some G bundles. You need this kind of uh, map because EG is just a little uh, The H after um, when they have one of the H after Z on the left. And so this E G it's just a twisting of, of G by E. This is the confusing E G when G E but the So G now you forget it to do. So the space acted on by H of the left. So when you have H bundles, you can twist in this twisting thing to get some, some new space for G E. But if you remember that this is have after the right. You got after on the left, commute after the right. So it didn't have after on the right. So this E this this E G still have after on the right. And more of a way of line to G. This is a, a G bundle. Uh, and in the, you know, on the color of homology, you have the same. This is the good point. When you look at the map, it means on the set of isomorphism of classes. You have H1, a plate H, H1, a plate H. So this is the, 
this is very formal, but um, but pretty much how we, we study um, uh, this next lecture is uh, when I when I um, when I, uh, when I uh, talk about bundle the additional structures very much basically to, to, to use this kind of reduction on the H and G. So subgroup is uh, this subgroups play big roles uh, in this story. So just uh, last piece of the uh, Galapu movie, I think I talk more than I, I want to do, but just finish it. Um, so we have this uh, usual, you know, uh, not uh, uh, having cuts. We do some kind of Galapu model. So uh, let A, B, C uh, uh, groups, algebra group or something. Assume that they have exact sequence. Let's say they are community group to start with. Then we have the uh, exact sequence of, uh, and then we have long sequence. A cohomology. So in, in, in my lectures, we, we rarely go over H2, with A, H2, H1. Sometimes I have to put some H2 in zero. Not, uh, um, so this is, a, um, this is the, the usual uh, long-term sequence, maybe homology, uh, let's say. Uh, but here, uh, the, and remember just to remind A0 of A of A is the same as A of A, the free point of this group. And A0 of A of A is a set of, is a set of, uh, uh, is a set of, um, Isomorphism class and then you play. But, uh, but now, the thing is, if A is commutative, then Galois homology is enough to describe this group of bundle. Because uh, now the the set of isomorphism class is the first homology. And for every uh, every bundle, uh, the group of, of automorphism is just H0. So the, uh, so the in A committee just write the formula that the bundle of A. Uh, it's nothing that uh, the H1 of K A mod divided by A0. So we have this group or this set of homology divided by this A0 up trigger. So I, I define this notion that when I have a, uh, a group up in the space, then I define group going motion. And it works with the up to the third is trigger. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the, the bun A is really is equivalent to this group with the object of H1 of A and the automorphism is H0 of K for every object. At least for the for community group. For non community group, it's slightly more complicated. Mm -hmm. can be mm -hmm. So this is the first point. Mm -hmm. 
And the second point that if you really want to move on to, um, for example, how to define the co boundary map. From A0 of case C to A0 of K. So for every, um, if you have a point C in this, this is just a K point of, of C. A point of this A0 is to the K point of C. So in other words, we have a map state of K into C. So if you form the position C, to the fiber of this point by this is a point to have B of C from the state of And now this fibers group A, so this is not no longer group because it's a fiber some some point. But it's act, acted on by the kernel. So the kernel are not simply transitive here. And the point that this B of C is an A bundle over K. So said that it is important for this map that is not just a, a set of a matter of set, it is a function. For every point of you have an object, you, you do have a, a well-defined uh, bundle. So this is the uh, uh, so and uh, we have so this map on from, from A0 of K of C. You have a map like this map. And then after you can take the item of the graph if you wish, then you can do this map. This is a good point. And this look even when 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 it's not ideal. It works uh, a long ideal. And very similarly, uh, and this is another thing that we had used on the time later, so that I just better explain it now. So in in this uh, in this. Uh, when you have this sequence, so A is a normal subgroup of B. Then you have this map of H1 of K of A of B. And so we can characterize image of H1 of K A and H1 of K B as element that becomes zero in H1 of K C. So what if A is not a normal subgroup? So, uh, so now in general we have a uh, when A is just some, some subgroup. In five of the And uh, so we have this map of H1 of A over the K, mapping to H1 of B over the K. So what is better than from bundles? So we have done A, map into B, and we have a functor of loop rules. So how to characterize? How to characterize the, the image, the essential image? In what are the B bundles, which is isomorphic to a bundle of the bundle of A. Even when A is not a, a normal subgroup. 
And here is kind of the old theorem of Rashman. That hope they will be nice with you. So we look at the, um, the space, but let's look at the space x to b, b, uh, b mod a. The quotient. This is the scheme for the magnetic phase, this is the scheme which is after on the b. on the left of it. So this is not a group, it's just the space, uh, the space for sector in B. And so for every E, E band B, a principal bundle, then you can do the twisting construction. Then you can do the exit E, All this is on the page, this is on the spectrum. So the twist, twist the space of x by, by the z bundle. So this makes sense. So this is um, see the scheme, which we call isomorphic to, to x after some theta cover uh, over a field just of some kind of uh, finite expansion. And on the rest of the we have uh, um, E to the E belong to the image of the A. If and only if there is a point to X to the K point. If you have a point, then you have a, a reduction. So this kind of reduction, the question is how we have the bundle, how the bundle can have reduction in the structures of something. So the trick is to look at the quotient of B mod A and twist the quotient by the B bundles. And if we have a section, and if the section to be the um, section. So how may we have to do the This is the, the same kind of Trick that we put in fibers, like we try to explain this. So you see when the case where um, A is A is normal set group, then this is a group. We want A to group. Right? And so this is a X A of K. This X E is in uh, this is actually in this. This is a C bundle. That's in the C bundle. And if the C bundle at least has a point, then we achieve on the C bundle. So this is just a, a, a way to say this, 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 this part is the exact, is exact sequence. So this part is exist in a very non commutative case. That B is non commutative, A is non commutative, A is not even a normal circle, which is anything. But it is in this. On the you cannot define this further. In this case, there's no way to define this. Uh, I mean, this is this is topics for the long and little homologies. Um, well, people are actually have to try to look at these papers. Um, people try to define extend the exact sequence to the situation, this situation as is. A is not one of the subjects. But I think it's not wrong. <laughs> there is two papers. But as you know, I checked in, there's a mistake in this paper. The paper. Some of the 
somehow they, they do some very complicated things. But, uh, but at the end, and when you, you know, unwind this, they just replaced, they just replaced uh, B by the normalizer of A and B. It's about A and B's normal normalizers, and they very classical normalizers. So it's very stupid. But, uh, they look a little very complicated special construction, that's basically just really the developer mode for normalizers. So it's not very interesting. Okay. Um, so this is on, um, I had to say, you know, I think probably all you have to know about the, the general theory of bundles and talks. So, uh, so, you know, now we go back to the, um, now we go back to the uh, first problem, how to describe bundles of the curve. So somehow very description is a way to you want to describe bundles of the curve by using Galois homology, but by the H by, by H1 of the generic one for example. So we using Adam to reduce or the description to the generic fiber. So we uh, come back to the describe uh, uh, again the X over uh, of smooth over the curve over thin K. And uh, G over X defaults just any uh, smooth group scheme. Maybe a finite type over x. And we want to describe this band G. The group with a G band. Using add x. So as I say, we have a, 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 a we have a different point to start with with uh, uh, H1. So f is the f is the field of rational function, and h one of g is the mode in general. We have no if we have do have to have a rational pay to make this thing like any kind of reasonable. Otherwise, just be a kind of monster. No good. So to to have some information on this. In the case where you know, the pay, uh, in two case, in the pay is algebraic close, the base field has to be close, this is a very nice case. Now, uh, a little more complex case, but still doable, the pay is fine. So, so when you do this kind of very uh, counting by done, you do need to have for any groups, you do need to rest to these two cases. Either the base field has to be close, or finite. If you do finite patients, you give it a pin, for example, and there is there's no work to do with this. So, um, first do the, um, the K is algebra to close. See? Then, uh, this thing is what say upon F of K and X is one dimension. Homorism one dimensional. One dimensional. One dimensional thing. So I am not going to be scared to be called one to be found in the table tomorrow, but I'm not going to be called it. It's like, you know, the is clear. It's three dimensional for the word curve, so it's a one dimensional thing. Uh, in this case, um, uh, uh, what is so say basically shaped uh, the the Galois homology theory by two conjectures, equal to one and equal to two of say. Uh, they are all now basically more than the, uh, the first one is uh, that is uh, so say I think this one is the standard. Uh, 
If G is is always assume smooth, then that will be very important to assume this time back. Time back to two over K, which is one dimensional over some algebra continuous field. One dimension field that is to put this case and, <coughs> and perfect then H1 of the GDC. So for example, perfect is only for characteristic B, so for the K you to C, then you need it as something perfect. Then over the Riemann surface, over uh, some field of one dimension over complex numbers, and uh, the local homology or convective field. Um, but we really want to do with the finite field theta or uh, FQ bar. So what is when K is FQ bar, when K is characteristic P. And this is something very annoying because this is the start of the K of X, K of X is wrong. And this K of X is one dimensional, but not perfect. So perfect can be when you look at the raising to the power of P and to be a subjective. This is not perfect. You have to do the perfect perfectization, which is not very nice. Uh, but then you still have true to the same the same bonds if G is reductive. So um, so what is wrong even the um, is basically work for multiplicative groups. But it's not it's not work for an unipotent And maybe a time you explain yourself how, how it how it fits. It fits badly, it can be infinite uh, in uh for unipotent. So I feel we only want to interest more in the reductive group, but uh, but I think that it's very important to understand even you know, unipotent group by by the pair reduction process. Sometimes when you do this you have to reduce from the reductive this careful to understand this 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 is the scene. So at least at least the set at least um um over um when K algebraic below so now so now when you assume now assume um That G over X is now smooth. Group skin. Um, or X of algebra of K over K algebra to go. And I assume that G of theta, G of F is adapted. At least when 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 the characteristic B case, then then you know by by this percent standard theorem, second to one, that H one of F of G is zero. So basically, this is only what you need to. Uh, to do very powerful. So, so we have uh, now you can apply very So if you have vector e over x, 
the G value node. Now, as I said, it's point to tap. The spec, we have the um, spec of F. The E of F has to be as a multi trivial background because the combo, there's no, no room for it. Then uh, is trivial. So then you can choose lasomorphisms C F between G F and E F respecting the actually the G on the right. So this is the generic generic symbolization. So now for every point X in X. You see the, see now we come back to the smooth set um, thing again. So let um, E, uh, so now I have to get complete notation, let me write E bar x. So I, I want to move E of x in the restriction of E to the form of this. And I want to pull this up, this is true. What I know is when I rest it to the to the to the point itself, so here we write in bar x is a reduction. So it's going to be e times x to the point just a point not the form of this. And this is a gx gx torsor. And because k is a bit close. You can choose some point here. You can have in there is this y is uh, so the right is now a little bit closer to the next point. The dollar probability of the over as it goes to this obviously trivial. So we have uh, this so the, the spatial fibers of this uh, tops of the tree on the center fiber so this looks like this the form of this like this and we have this is the toxin this is the center and we have like this one we have this these fibers and we know that there's a point in this just because we look at a bit close to it and everything else works and now what you want is some, you know, some section. You want some type slide. Like so we need a smooth method of that. that, 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 that means when we have a point, then it can be extended to a section. So y, e, t, that x. Then we extend. Section over the form of this. So then, eventually, many definitely equivalent in the smoothness because we tend the space. But here you use the fact that you have this uh, infinitesimal big space when you have uh, a point of. Uh, over um, some optimal grid. Let me read there on uh, if you have a point over the fins, over the residue fins, then you can lift it to a point over any any optimal grid. That is the smoothness. And here does here the, the thing is um, spectrum of formal this is very much like the human of uh, this uh, optimal grid. You can lift one by one to the and, and so this means that uh, this this means that, that there exists an isomorphism from uh, from GX to G. And so again we have this one G 
not consistent with E, C, F, and all this C, X. And by the same uh, formula, that is the G of A, this is the same as this G of A, <coughs> more G of O, no, this of G of A. Okay, I go to the G. This is the same, this is the G of A, more G of A. So we have, for example, when the base field is algebraically closed, we have another similar the description of, of physical bundles, uh, SGLN, just to evaluate this uh, set and the program. This is still the same. I wish I had the time to explain this set uh, of the time. So now we move on the that you really interested in, that is the phase of uh, phase K is finite So now we, we no longer have this. This is wrong. So we can Even in the still the torus, the true torus, one dimensional torus, there are these things. So it's kind of hopeless to, uh, it looks hopeless to, to do this. But not so much. First of all, there is the one case, um, very simple, uh, very kind of surprisingly so simple is that uh, this is second meter two. Right? It goes, it goes to, Say that in this case, H1 of Fg is still zero. So G is not only without symmetry, it has to be specific with the method. So you see, if G of F is certainly simple, and simply with the method. So in this case, there is still the H1 is still zero. So basically, the simply connected by the exponent of that is very much a vector space. And vector space has a triple formula. It's very, it's a normal thing that this is entire thing to remember. The exponential math is uh, captured only the simply connected thing. OK. So in this case, you can run the same nothing, nothing changed. Uh, oh, and it's one single option. One single thing that is you may have trouble here. Here you have to find the algebraic flow stream to make sure that these fibers have a point. And then now we have over a finite thing. It's not all the this. Uh, point. But here you have to do another sort of thing. This is a land program. Land theorem say that if G is connected, and to offset land theorem is a part of 70 to 1. If connected, good. Over a finite field, then finite field. Then this one of A is really cheaper. I find that thing also one dimensional. Also one dimensional. One dimensional field. So, so length of M is a part of the second picture of one. But length of M has a much nicer proof. It's very nice. It's very nice. I don't know if I can do it, but it's very nice. So, so we have uh, okay, then this argument is in works as long as we suppose that G have connected fibers. And G have connected fibers, then this H1 is zero. 
ahead of that. So the assumption now is this is the right assumption of the range. When 3 is finite, then uh, when g over x, the two assumptions that g of f is still dependent. And um, all fibers. So then if I'm asking to connect it, all time after that. Then they, they uh, are in other words. We have the same result, the same process. Uh, but G is going to be to the same, the same course. But, but this is not very satisfying because most group encounters in geometry is not simple. So we have to, to, so this is some hard okay. I mean, this usually like only finite memory, but not like the fiber when you move it. This assumption is not very serious, but this assumption is, is serious. So now let, let's do this. Now assume that we move this thing. So that assume, as we move on this new assumption. This is assumption that we are running assumption of this, the G, the phase finite field. G over X is loose. Root scheme G of Greenwich fibers is reductive. So you want to avoid the important, the really important. I don't understand, it seems like a chaos or but uh, uh, so it's definitely reductive. I hope you have had a chance to understand what's going on in this open group in the context of the first day. And all fibers are connected. So in this case, it's no longer true that this is zero. H1 and G. Not zero. It is infinite. When it is not zero, then it is infinite. And it's kind of unpleasant when you have to do some counting, but to find finite. But here is what I love. It's very important. It, it is so the, the kind of last argument that you made today is this one. So if e over x is a G bundle. And let um, class of EF. Now EF is a crystal bundle over F. And now we look at the it has a morphism class, is now a minimum of H1 and FG. But what happens? It cannot be any element. This group is infinite. But this class can be on the very small part of it. So why is that? The, the reason it is then the claim is this thing is belong to the fermion of H1 of Fg into the kind of direct sum. Let me wait for that one. So Fx are the low point fins of the completion of every negative point. And if you have a commodity class here, you can have G tops over F, you have G tops over F. So you have this class. And I claim that uh, if you start with running over X, the class here could be lent into the trigger class locally. It cannot be anything. So the reason is this. You have the um, EX is a restriction of e to the form of this do the same thing again now we will form of this you can use this argument on the space of the fact we had a point and by smooth that can be the point can be spread into a section and so this is the true number
So this means that rest of the e to the to the puncture is so this is the this is very simple this but this is important argument. Here now we use both uh, the local argument by the lifting point, by the spreading point. We the for that as as soon as one fiber of this can make it. So all the form on this by the spreading argument, we have a section of the of the of the crystal diamond. So that the crystal diamond has to be trivial on the form of this, and even more trivial on the on the form of this. No, but form of this is the same as this. <coughs> so we, we have this, we have the spread of E. E on the type the same, the same uh, we have resistance to the very point or resistance to the form of this. But they have to rest to the same thing that they uh, rest to the form of this. So if you rest it in this way, you have a trivial bundle. When you rest in this way, you don't have a trivial bundle. So as a result, you have, to, you have this formula. That's the class of the Zerin bundles. There cannot be any class in S1. There has to be a class that are locally trivial. So this is kind of good because uh, the kernel of this, um, and we have an equal to 10 per 1 of F G. So this is not an order effective. In Dalla homology, they, uh, they call it look like this. This is the Sha, the Sha for Shatterevich. So they go to the root Petsha Valevich. So I need to do more in this portion of it, but I don't know how to do this shy in that picture, I only need to do curve one. Uh, it's more easy to do more form, it's just curve one in the picture. So this is actually um, uh, OK, so this is um, so this. And now we. Uh, This is somehow more nicer. This, this, this texture of this is non trivial, but it's very small. <coughs> so, anyway, this is not in the a, a, a book, this is a set. But it's factor that this is in this third one, this special one we do. Also, this is the the locomotive in the final. So it 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 actually it, it looks trivial in many in many cases. So people tend to make this guy not very really interesting group because it but it's trivial for very trivial for uh, uh, it's trivial for simple connectivity of course because it's simple connectivity but this group is typically trivial. But it's trivial for a G um uh it's trivial for simple connector. This tree one for 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 split orders. Mm. 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 Split orders of GA is a cloud. For 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 split orders, all this would be true. So as a result, it's a tree one for for constant. Mm. Like if X and and S4A, for example, is also trivial. But what makes it more trivial is no is non trivial. Now the the real last thing that I uh, want to hear a little bit late is now we come back to the counting process. Now let G to be something simple. Let G of, 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 assume that the final the really final is something simple. 
then you can uh, add the this the you can do the counting the mass of the group weight of the bundles and the, the sum of the isomorphism class weighted by inverse of the automorphisms. And apply this formula, you get this delta in R1 of F G, then the volume of G of A mod G of K of F against the measure G of G. And this is all the invalid measure in this. G reductive, then the, um, there's no choice, you only want that in the very, very measure the same. I normalize by, by uh, the volume of G of O and the G of O. So this makes sense because this, this is when the finite group is volume is finite. In DG ở đây, cái DG ở đây nó, cái cái G là nhóm ở trên cả cái đường cong hiện tại bây giờ. No, 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 there's no more curve. You, you just have this group. Yeah. This is the G of A is, the group of G is value A. And A is locally compact field, and this is locally compact. This is just analysis, this is locally compact. Locally compact. This is not differential, this is a measure. This is not a differential. This is very, very confusing this region, sometimes it's differential, sometimes it's a measure. Locally compact groups. So, so, so there's enough to do with algebraic group anymore, right? Every time they have locally compact group, then this unit is valid measure. Yeah. But, but uh, the group G has to be defined over a little k, or over. No, no, it can be defined over. Here's the end of that over F. Over the. Over F. So F is. F is to include it. A so you can say it to A point. So you go back to the previous situation, yeah? Not the one that we had just in. Ừ, tức là lúc này châu vừa mới nói trường hợp là g là ở trên x gì đúng không? một cái group g ở trên x gì? Yeah, g is the sum of x. Nhưng nói chung là nếu mà g mà là constant thì phải được k thì mình phải theo quan này là bằng một tổng không. Ok. Ừ. Bây giờ thì mình đang xét cái tình huống là g ở trên x hay g ở trên f. Vậy thì x. À. Và bây giờ thì d chỉ ứng với cả cái generic fiber của d nhỉ? Đây là sao? Đi chỉ chỉ phụ thuộc vào generic fiber của d. Okay, okay. Cái DG là cái trên 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 nhóm không phải cái cái này nó không phải trên phép group nó chỉ là một cái topology thôi. Okay, okay, okay. Tức là nó không liên quan đến cái cái thứ loss fiber đúng không? Nó chỉ liên quan đến cái liên quan đến loss fiber. Okay, okay. Đây nó chụp cao thêm tại vì nó không 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 còn là về số. Okay. Như vậy là cái, cái, cái phân đường này nó không phụ thuộc vào cái close fiber Đấy thì nó đã phải Nó phụ thuộc vào chỗ cái normalization này Vì cái DDG này nó chỉ đọc đọc chỉ đi chỉ Vào để phải up to a constant Ok, ok Thì vì vì chia cho lúc này, ở đây mình chia cho G of O mà Thế nên mình phải bằng định là cái vốn nó bằng 1 Thì mình nên không chấp được cái vốn nó bằng 1 Thì nó chỉ vốn đúng cái này thôi Okay. Okay. Tức là, tức là cái loss fiber nó vẫn tác động lên nhưng tác động ở cái chỗ nhỏ hơn. Okay. Ý là cái vai trò của loss fiber nó vẫn có đúng không? Nó không hề là gì. Nó không hề là gì. Nó có hề là vẫn có nhưng nó rất là ít. Hầu như không 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 không. Ở đây một cái điểm nữa là là thực ra là vì vì cái này bắt đầu tôi bắt đầu nói những cái cái mà tôi cũng chứng minh là tôi nghĩ là khó nhưng mà những cái này về vô thì nó bằng nhau hết nó không phụ thuộc vào yếu tạo nên cái độ cốt vít thì thì những cái vô lượng này nó cũng nó cái 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 vô lượng này cái cái automorphic này cái này là automorphic space thì cái vô lượng này nó không phụ thuộc vào yếu tạo bởi vì mình rất là khó cốt vít này là cái vô lượng này nó không cái vít nó không thể không làm cái vô lượng tạo được 
So the, the thing that when when G is semi simple, then there's another measure, a canonical, canonical measure. On G of A. If you just have a group of a genetic a genetic fibers. And it's so simple measure, a very good measure of the G. So here they don't, here it's just there's no chemical measure, they normalize it by uh, deciding the volume of G of O is 1. And now this depends on the special factors, on all those factors. But, but the, why do it for semi simple? There's chemical measure, that doesn't depend on all the special factors. So this is the turn of one measure. So for this, we have to use uh, integration, the difference in form. So, uh, um, so we have G of, um, so we have Li of, of G, is now an air vector space. And we look at the wedge, max, so this is a one dimensional. Vector space. And we choose a, a, a alpha, a node, a non zero, uniform. So this is just a top, top differential flow. Top, this is the right here, top, invariant, top differential forms. G. So then G over F. Algebra forms. So this is this is what we find. So alpha is what we find. Up to F star. But now, when you have a, a differential form, that you have analytic forms for every, uh, well, so for every, um, so for every x, you have a different now it is not just a set. If f x is a f x is a, a, a topological field, a locally compact topological field. This is actually an f x analytic manifold. And then you can use alpha, you can use omega, you can use omega, omega to do uh, uh, define a, a, a measure, divide for a measure. And 
with uh, with any function, you can multiply this difference to form and integral. And then, uh, this completely feels similar to the pay when everything is doing like this. the same. I, I, I will go back to this construction in the last lectures of the pay integration. And now I'll just uh, skip this. And uh, so this is independent of the scalar and the product of omega x over mountain x is independent of omega. Because when you multiply omega by a scalar in x bar, you multiply anywhere by the absolute values of the of the of that scalar. And then pull up formula is equal to that. So this for this omega is uh, the common measure. On G of I. So it looks like it, it works for every group, but they only look for semi simple group. Because some, you know, the. There's some kind of really C. So, you know, when I look at some kind of function, we want to like the. Basically, we want to look at the, the characteristic function of G of O. This is a compact subset. And I want to compute the volume of so this with respect to omega. And then have to, to at every place we have to compute the infinite product of this. The volume of uh, G of O X with respect to omega X. And this is not one, it's never one. Some numbers. And we have to make sure that the infinite product actually converges to positive numbers and the measure makes sense. And this converge, uh, converge, or semi simple group. For GAM, we write something like a beta function. Like the form of beta function, it's going to be the same as the beta function. Anyway, so now we have this, we have defined this uh, canonical measure, omega, and the uh, weight and vectors is a, that when, when G is simply connected, then the volume of G of A, more G of A, with respect to this time number of measure is one. So this is a very famous manager of Bay, where he managed to um, reduce when you work by uh, Zigbert and other people. Very complicated to work in number theory to one single statement that this time around is one per secret of the So um, this is um, this is proven by uh, by Lehmann's. One of the first paper of Lehmann's he proved this for, for split groups. A split reductive group and then the the, the, the most different phase of it. So this is this, this volume is dependent on a particular fish. Uh, that is called this theorem. So this is uh, for number three, this is called this theorem. Yeah, that is called this. And this is really the third and the domestic form. So this is the domestic portion and it's a lot of domestic form to prove this. But in the case of function field case, you can compare this two, two statements. It's very similar. Right? You compute the volume of the same portion to the different measures. And so the this is the so this very conductors that will be equivalent to the fact that by energy. When simply connected, by the G is the same as the volume, volume of the G of O. It's compact, but compute the term number of measure. Because the ratio had to be, uh, just had to, the ratio of two measures can be evaluated by compute some volumes. This, this is the volume, minus one. 
So this is the equivalent combination of, of, uh, of very dangerous jets with your favorite function of fees. And this is proven by, uh, so a priori function of had to be purely easier than number of fees. But somehow this is not proven until recently by, this is proven by uh, this movie. And they're very fancy way to do it. Uh, non agrarian proletariat I don't understand the, the, the proof, but I guess it can be simple. Anyway, uh, um, So this point of any one to the very really late. Really Sorry for having so late. I thought that we had to be two or two hours. Uh, so the uh, so the uh, the next the next uh, lecture my plan is to uh this cassette of countings. Um, but with not just G bundle, but G bundle the additional stuff. And, and traditionally, we see how, how G and subgroup H are connected to each other. And the uh, teaching five pressure is some kind of very special phase of, uh, of G bundle and additional structures. And uh, the, the concept can be generalized in very, very, very wide context, basically any, uh, any situation. And then uh, all this is still very much on the level of Adam Galois homologies. And uh, as this week, we, we have to do more under the geometries. It's no longer a sort of book point, it can become a very nice very good nice start, as it can be. I think this is really what you can hide here, so what kind of uh, object is doing. 